Mountain, and this is a short video on how action plans can be used within Financial Services Cloud and with the Spring 25 release within Sales Cloud. So what we can see over here is that I have a tab called Action Plan Templates, and you're going to want to limit this to a small group who's creating your standard processes for you. Now we're going to walk through a client onboarding process. However, you can use this for any process in your business where you want to have standard activities done to ensure that they get done and you can measure how long it's taking to get these processes done. So this is an onboarding process for a new client, for example. Now this is built based on wealth management, financial services, but again, this can encompass any industry any process. So let's just walk through what this is. So as part of this process, what it does is it can create tasks for you. And you can have two, you can have 20 tasks, however you want to do it. But a couple things I want to note out, note here, is that first thing you have, in this case, I've got five tasks. Now this is just a sample for you. But what you can have here is a prerequisite. So for example, the first thing that's done is we're going to send out paperwork. And we have one day to do it once the action plan gets launched. And who does it get assigned to? Now, it can get assigned to a person where John always does this task. It can get assigned to a queue where multiple people have access to that task. It can get assigned to a role on the account. I'll show you that in a minute. Or it could get assigned to the action plan creator, whoever creates the action plan. So in this case, Everything we're doing is going to be assigned to a role. I'll show you that. Once that is completed, then the next task is going to be receive paperwork. And it is only going to get launched when the send paperwork, send out paperwork task is completed. So the point being is we can either have all of these tasks created all at once or have them be dependent. We're not going to launch the second task until the first task gets completed. We're not going to launch the third task until the second task gets completed. And then we also have here how many days once it's launched in which it should be done by. So this is a quick example of how to set it up. Now let me show how it works in action. So let's go over here to Fred and Wilma Flintstone household. Now this could be a household, this could be a business, this could be a person account, this could be an opportunity, this could be a lead, this could be any object. So what I'm going to do is, let's just pretend we need to onboard them. I'm just going to create a new action plan. So all I'm doing here is I'm going to select the template. Now I have a naming convention, so I'm just going to put an A there. Uh, I want to start it today. And I'm going to say next. And I'm going to say save. And so because of my naming convention, I just had to put any value in there. And what it's going to do is it's going to launch these tasks. Now, let's go back here to Fred and Wilma. And what we're going to see is here's the naming convention. So Fred and Wilma Flintstone Household Client Onboarding. We can see that we've completed zero out of five activities. And we can see that we have a task here, send out paperwork. Now, in the action plan, one of the things I showed you is that it assigns it to a role. So we've got different roles here on the household that's synchronized with the account team. And it looks up here and says, who's the secondary advisor? Oh, it's Bart. Let's assign it to Bart. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fast track through this. So we're going to complete that task. And I'm going to refresh. And we can see now that the send out paperwork is completed. Now Bart has one day to receive it, or two days. Let's refresh. Now we need to confirm the documents, and this is assigned to the client service associate, which is me. Refresh. And all while you're doing this, what you'll be able to see is how many of these have been completed. So in this case, three of five. Now we need to do the financial transfer, and Sally has uh, six days for that, it looks like. And then refresh. And then we got to send a thank you note. So that is how these tasks automatically get dynamically created for different people due on certain days. And it gives you the ability to measure 
how quick you're getting these processes done, but it also makes sure that every process gets done. So this has just been a quick overview of action plans. If you have any questions, give me a call, 513-482-1127, or send me an email at matt at 410solutions.net. Thanks.